morning, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to America's Retirement Headquarters. My name is Chaz Price, and I'm coming to you live from Maumee, Ohio, at America's Retirement Headquarters. Uh, thank you for tuning in today to Trends at 10. Trends at 10 is just really my way of reaching out to clients on a regular basis just to keep them updated on all the trends and some of the statistics and um, events that we're seeing in the market that may affect their retirement portfolios and their investments. So thanks for tuning in. We're out back here at uh, beautiful America's Retirement Headquarters. As you can see back here, it's a very nice setup. And so I like coming out here to do my, my videos. It's kind of it's good vibes and, and good uh, feng shui, if you will. So hopefully you had a nice Memorial Day weekend. I know we did. We had an opportunity to you know, hang out with family. We got to play with our new dogs, Edgar and Poe. We got to throw some meat on the grill. So it was a really nice event, really nice day. And it's weekends like that that make me want to retire early. I don't know if you have that same goal, but I've always wanted to retire early, like around 55 or 60. And so if that's the same goal that you have, if you have a similar goal, we can help you do that here at America's Retirement Headquarters. In fact, we have a webinar scheduled on June 24th entitled Sustainable Retirement Income Streams. And the reason we entitled that webinar that way is because having sustainable income in retirement is probably the most important component to a successful retirement strategy if you're planning on retiring early. And I say that because sustainable retirement income like pensions and social security, there really is no substitute for that when you're looking at uh, trying to address some of the concerns like market volatility, market crashes, um, longevity or the, the risk of outliving your money and rising interest rates. There's really no substitute for sustainable income streams. The problem is, is that sometimes me, people make the wrong decision about claiming social security. And of course, pensions have gone almost all to the wayside. Not, not everybody has a pension. In fact, very few people have pensions. Although we did meet with quite a few clients. Uh, we have quite a few clients that do, particularly government workers. And we had a meeting with one of them last week. And this individual actually was able to be at their government post for about 40 years. And as a result of their hard work had a very nice pension built up. And when we plugged the figures, the pension and all the assets and income that they had coming in, their, their probability of success, the, the meter as we call it, was buried to the right. It was over 100% success. And the reason is because they had that sustainable pension, the ability to generate income, and it particularly had a cost of living adjustment. So it was, that's like a bonus. That's like uh, icing on the cake, if you will, if you've got a pension with a cost of living adjustment. So on June 24th, we're going to talk about how you can create sustainable income streams to guarantee that your guaranteed source of expenses is covered with guaranteed source of income. Even if you don't have a pension, we're going to help you make decisions how to maximize your social security. But today on this Trends of 10, what I want to talk about are a couple of threats, a couple of risks that are uh, people that are planning on retiring early commonly face. And the first one is longevity. Obviously, if we knew how long you're going to live, uh, we'd probably be out of business. We wouldn't, you wouldn't need financial advisors because it would be a simple calculus. You just add it up, uh, do the math. But if you're 55, your life expectancy is probably anywhere from 25 to 30 years. So you need to plan for a really long time in retirement. And probably it's going to be longer if you're healthy and you've enjoyed good health. And with the advancements in medicine and uh, health care these days, you're probably going to need to plan for longer than 30 years in retirement. But if you're 55 years old, statistically, sorry, 55 years young, statistically speaking, your life expectancy is about 30 years plus. So with that sort of longevity, you know, what are some of the things that you need to do in order to make sure that you have enough money saved to accomplish your goals and to retire comfortably and not have to worry about it? So we're going to help you account for that. Now, uh, when we look at statistics, that just means that 50% of the people over age 55 lived past, you know, lived to their life expectancy, which is about 80 to 85. And that means 50% didn't. So that's a coin flip. And if you're like most people, you probably don't want to uh, guarantee or, or to um, put uh, your retirement on a coin flip. 
does, those aren't very good odds for that. So we can help you do a little bit better than 50-50. Um, secondly, I want to talk about that silent assassin inflation. I want to talk about inflation or the cost of uh, goods and services rising over time, the erosion of your purchasing power, and uh, the value of a dollar not being worth as much as it was 10, 20, 30 years ago. So I've got some statistics here for you I want to share with you. Um, in 1994, the price of a new home, $106,000. Now, in 2019, that same house is now worth $380,000. And by 2044, it's expected a new house. A new house is expected to cost. Get this, eight hundred and thirty-five thousand dollars. That's incredible. So, but that's reality. You know, your predecessors that retired 20 or 30 years ago experienced that sort of inflation. So it's likely that you're going to experience it as well. So you need to plan for it. We can help you do that. Gallon of milk. Gallon of milk in 1994. Two dollars and twenty-nine cents today. Or I'm sorry, in 2019, three dollars and nineteen cents. And by 2044, a gallon of milk is expected to be seven dollars and one cent. That's an expensive cow for sure. And then a gallon of gas. A gallon of gas. We're already seeing inflation uh, at the gas pump. I can't really complain because for the last year and a half, gas has been almost free. Uh, essentially, it's been you know under two bucks consistently. So now we're starting to see it creep back up. But in 1994, if you remember, a gallon of gas was one dollar and nine cent. Um, in 2019, it, it was two dollars and sixty seven cents. And in 2044, gallon of gas, and I know it's like this in some states, five dollars and eighty seven cents. Five dollars and eighty seven cents for a ga gallon of gas. That's incredible. So you're really going to have to do a lot of planning. For retirement if you want to live uh, if you want to retire early and live comfortably I guess you could say so uh, on June 24th tune into that webinar we're gonna be talking about some of the ways that we help our clients offset the risk of inflation uh, the number one way to do that is equities you know stocks and, and investments in the market you know inflation is not necessarily always a bad thing when it comes to stock prices it just means that companies are charging more for their products and services, and so that means that they're probably gonna have a little bit better earnings. It also does mean that in some cases, the inputs, the raw materials, and the commodities that go into making those products and services may also be a little higher. And so you do have to watch out for that. You also have to watch out for the fact that I feel that there is no anchor to inflation, particularly with the amount of spending that we've seen and the amount of spending that's predicted. I think I heard one of the other advisors in the office talked about another six trillion is pending. Uh, I can't even get my arms around that, but another six trillion dollars in spending is proposed. So we are absolutely going to have some inflation. We've already been seeing it. And the risk is that or the problem is, is that companies have no problem passing those costs on to their consumers. Uh, traditionally, you can make the argument that um, if companies raise their prices too much, they would lose market share because uh, other companies may not do it. That's not the case. Everybody is raising prices. We've got $15 an hour proposed, uh, or I, I think McDonald's is actually paying $15 an hour minimum wage. That means other companies have to raise their wages and that is gonna absolutely translate to higher prices for consumers. There's no other way around it really in order for them to be competitive and actually to find workers. It's hard to even find workers these days. So you have to be competitive even more so with your, with your salaries and wages. So there's a lot, there's a lot going on right now. And so if you have any concerns, if you'd like us to do a stress test on your portfolio, on your retirement portfolio, stress test is just where we'll take a look at some of the common uh, threats and we'll analyze to see what the impact is of those threats. Threats like a stock market crash, threats like inflation and longevity, living longer, uh, maybe needing a healthcare, an extended healthcare stay at the end of your plan, maybe three or four years in a long-term care facility. We can assess the impact and the probability of overcoming those concerns in your retirement portfolio with about a 90% degree of accuracy. So um, that's your trends of 10 today. That's what we wanted to talk about is inflation and retiring early. If you'd like to find out more about how to retire early, Tune in to our webinar on June 24th. There's going to be a registration link 
in this in the comments of this video and leave us a comment of yourself or leave us a like if you like what we're talking about or maybe you want to talk about something else or maybe you want to see more of the facility and I'll take you guys around the tour again of uh, America's Retirement Headquarters. I love doing that because it's a beautiful building and I work with great people. So uh, thanks again for your time. We appreciate it and look forward to seeing you next week. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Advisory services offered by the Retirement Guys Formula LLC, a registered investment advisory firm. Securities are offered by Peak Brokerage Services LLC, member FINRA SIPC. America's Retirement Headquarters and the Retirement Guys Formula are separate and independent entities from Peak Brokerage Services. The advisors at America's Retirement Headquarters do not provide tax or legal advice. Please consult your tax and legal advisors before making any investment decisions. Thank you.